What up, babes? Welcome back. It's Barb City, where it be hella mother effing Liddy. Let's go on ahead and get into it before we do. As always, remember when in doubt, just pull that mother effing blunt out. Thank you to everybody that continues to follow us on all platforms, especially our Barb City Facebook page. You all are very much appreciated. Our first topic is going to be about Sexy Red. This is an update on the last video that I did on Sexy Red. You guys know she made an Instagram post that had all the blogs going crazy. And now she's upset because the blogs actually believed what she posted on Instagram. So this is the post. She said, me at the doctor waiting on her to tell me why my jeans ain't, okay? And then she posted on the Neighborhood Talks comments and said, this just proves that y'all believe whatever a mother effa posts on the internet. Y'all little brains is messed up. And I get it. Don't believe everything you see on the internet, blah, blah, blah. But Sexy Red, you're the one that posted it. So how is our brains messed up? Like, girl, why would you post something like this in the first place and think people wouldn't believe it when this is literally the image that you paint of yourself for the world to see, in my opinion. Here were some of the comments. It proves you're childish because this was not funny. Well, it's believable, sis. You rap about it, post about it, even created lip gloss about it. How the F we delusional? Well, stop posting dumb-ish. It's giving I need attention. I mean, if you say your cat's inks, why wouldn't we believe you? It's your cat. Three more comments. You mad at us because you fit the description? No, girl. We're just appalled you decided to write that ca that caption. And one more person said, yeah, whatever. Fish stick. <laughs> so again, this is not to be disrespectful to Sexy Red, but it's just like, girl... This is the picture you paint of yourself. You can't get mad at people for believing it, all right? Let's go on ahead and move forward into Sukiyana and JT. So it looks like Sukiyana stood on business and actually dropped the diss act. Why? I blocked out the wrong word, y'all. She actually dropped the diss track to JT. So I'm going to give my opinion on that, you guys. But if you guys do not know... The song is called Cocaine. I cannot put the cover art up because it might get me demonetized. But again, the song is called Cocaine. And I know a lot of you guys feel like, oh, JT needs to play Sukiyana does. She should not respond to this because Sukiyana is beneath her. The only person that's going to get clout from it is Sukiyana. I get it. I get it. But the way Sukiyana ate in that song, JT needs to respond expeditiously, okay? No, the song is not lyrical. It's not bar after bar. It's not a hit song. But when it comes to Sukiyana delivering a track, she did exactly what needed to be done. And in my opinion, Sukiyana ate and not only ate, she vibed aided JT and I feel like JT needs to respond like yesterday okay here were some of the comments I would not respond to this low level Zeus oh y'all in the comments acting like Suki didn't chew stop lying because she got bars JT needs to ignore her that's JT's problem to begin with she thinks everything needs a response Suki is not in her playing field and one more person said Suki never responded to Cupcake, so JT could sit this one out. Suki wants clout, and this is not going to go in JT's favor at all. So let me know what you guys feel. Do you guys feel like JT should pay this dust, or should she respond? Have you guys heard the song? Do you guys feel like Sukiyana gave it her all, or do you guys feel like she could have done better? Let's go on ahead and move forward into 77 cents, a.k.a. Little Lotto. So Little Lotto is being called out for being fake to her sister, Brooke. 
they were on video and Lotto was basically calling her sister out for wearing fake Chanel and also was calling her Miss Shein, letting the world know that her sister still shops at Shein. So I'm going to give my opinion on this. A lot of y'all might not agree, but I'm going to still give it. So this is the post that she put on Twitter. She said, Miss Shein and tagged her sister Brooke. And this is the video that's going around online. Check it out. Now, I definitely get it, right? Siblings joke around all the time. They can be embarrassing. They can even be harsh at times. I joke with my siblings all the time. And sometimes they be laughing, acting like they, they don't care. But deep down inside, you could tell they be upset and ready to kiss me out. So again, I feel like siblings do stuff like this all the time. The thing that made it like some weird behavior is the fact that she actually posted it for the world to see. Why would you want the world to know that your sister who walks around acting like she's a celebrity with you, why would you want the world to know that she still shops as she in, like all of us? Why would you want the world to know that she's wearing fake Chanel? Like, why would you do that? That's just like letting the world know that somebody's wearing a wig. You get what I'm saying? It's disrespectful. And the fact that she recorded it and posted it makes it even weirder. But let's get into some of these comments. This is something y'all do in the house, not on no video that will be viewed by millions. It makes your sister look bad because yes, you have money, but what about her? I wouldn't do that to my family. I don't care. You open the door for anyone to vow to her when they decide to come for you. Y'all keep saying y'all do this with y'all siblings. And I'm truly confused because this is literally and trying to embarrass in my opinion. I don't do that to mine. LMAO, we joke, crack, and argue, but be no, y'all are weird. Two more comments. I don't like girls that joke like that because it gives you talking ish, but playing it off is a joke. And that's how I feel because Lotto has a little bit more money than her sister. So she can afford things that her sister can't. So it's kind of like talking down to her because it's facts. You know, you're wearing knockoffs of things that I can actually afford. So yes, it is putting her down. And in my opinion, it is kind of belittling her. Our last comment saying this behavior with her sister slash best friend is so unsettling. Is she jealous of Brooke? So let me know what you guys would have done in this situation. Do you guys joke with your siblings like this if you do would you record it and post it and if you were the sibling on the other side how would you feel if this happened to you now let's go on ahead and get into botsy b so botsy b is being called out because she was at the met gala and she was asked who designed her dress and she did not know the designer's name and also described him as being Asian. She was also called out and responded and then deleted the post. We're going to get into it. But before we do that, check this out. But yeah. you feel amazing. Who made this? I feel amazing. It's this amazing designer. They're Asian and everything. So, yeah. But yeah. you feel amazing. My thing is, how are you trying to be? the best dressed, but you don't even know who designed your dress. I'm tired of hell. I'm so fucking tired. I'm so fucking tired of her. I cannot save this girl no more. It's literally the disrespect for me. Clock it. Clock it. Now, this man right here, who is a close friend of Anna Wintour herself did call Cardi B out. I believe his name is Gilbert and I do not know how to pronounce his last name, but this is what he said. 
for the record and recognition and no thanks to Cardi B. The designer of her gown is Sin Sin Lee. Please correct me in my comments if I said that wrong. But the designer of her gown is Sin Sin Lee, who's Chinese. The gown took two months to make. I personally think it's boring and not even on theme, but she chose it and should have at least remembered his name and not just that he's Asian. So clearly he felt offended by this and I definitely would have too, especially if that person took two months to make the dress and they can't even get a shout out because Botsy B don't remember the designer's name. But anyways, like I said, Botsy B did respond to Gilbert before she knew his connections, which we're going to get to. But this is what she had to say. Like, maybe because he felt he felt offended about something or whatever. And I see a lot of you guys fake gagging on Twitter. But I want to make this very clear, right? First thing first, when I was on the carpet, I was very um, scared because the dress... Um, was supposed to be like on a little podium and i and i've been practicing how to pose on the podium but at the carpet i wasn't allowed to use the podium so i had a lot of things on my mind and i was being rushed to the front of the line so when i was getting interviewed i kind of f forgot to pronounce the uh designer's name because he his name is a little bit complicated so i was like damn how to pronounce his name like i was my mind was just racing um, I think the former director of Vogue, um, he got offended because I said uh, Asian designer. I said Asian designer because I know that the designer was Asian, but I didn't, I wasn't sure what nationality the designer was. And I feel like it's offensive if I was to be like, oh, some Chinese designer or some uh, Korean designer or uh, some Vietnamese designer. Because I feel like no, I don't want to get somebody's nationality mixed up. So I said an Asian designer. So I, I didn't say that to be offensive or to get your little um, Speedos in a bunch. But I do feel like as a person that work in fashion, I don't feel like, I feel like the designer and my stylist, we work really hard for this theme. So for you to be kind of shady because you feel offended or whatever, it just proves why you're the former director. So again, you guys, as you guys can see here, this man is a close friend of Anna Wintour. And I do believe that Cardi B's team might have reached out to her and told her to delete, delete, delete. Because as you guys can see here, she did end up deleting that video. So I don't know, y'all. Let me know what you guys feel. And let's get into the fact that Cardi B allegedly has not even been invited to the Met Gala for the past three years and has actually only been there because she was invited by Instagram, okay? So this is what's being reported. Well, Cardi wasn't officially invited by Vogue to the Met. She was yet again invited by Instagram who sponsored a table and was then approved by Vogue to attend. Having worked at Meta specifically on the Met Gala, I know how this works. So this person also said that Cardi B for the past three years has been invited by Instagram and not Vogue themselves. Cardi B did respond to this person and she said the fact I was supposed to go with the Balenciaga but our dress wouldn't have been made in time. Stop playing with me, you poor A.B. Now, let's be very clear. Before we get into the fact that um, she's calling this woman poor after she was just crying on live, saying that she feels poor like her fans. Oh, girl, please, bitch, ho. Can we please talk about the fact that this woman and mother of two children is still working side by side with Balenciaga? Now that is what I find very much interesting, Chad. Clock it, clock it. And if you don't know, 
what Balenciaga was accused of, please go on over to Google because Google is very much free. Okay, but let me know. How do you guys feel that Botsy B is still supporting Balenciaga when she always has something to say about a certain person, right? How do you guys feel about Botsy B pretending to be the best thing happening right now, but can't even get an invitation to the Met Gala and has to get an invite through Instagram, okay? Now, Megan Thee Stallion, not invited. Ice Spice, not invited. Little Lotto, not invited. That shows you guys how important Cardi B really is to the industry. Not just that, but Instagram clocked Cardi B's T. As you guys can see here, they made a post about everybody they personally brought to the Met Gala. And they said the Met Gala class of 2024 is in full bloom. And look who's there, Cardi B. So I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys feel like she's really being invited by Instagram? And do you guys feel like Instagram was being messy for making that post, knowing that the internet was clocking Cardi B's tea at that moment? Anyway, um, let's go on ahead and get into the queen and add some razzle dazzle on this mother effing video. We already talked about Nicki Minaj's Met Gala look. But there is an article that's going around. I feel like all Nicki Minaj fans need to hear it. So we're going to get into it. And I promise you guys in my next video, I will be running Nicki Minaj's stats for her. Okay. So the article says Nicki Minaj reigns supreme at 2024 Met Gala. Nicki Minaj stole the show at the 2024 Met Gala with her bold and daring ensemble, earning her the top spot as the number one most on-theme look, according to The Cut. Her outfit infused with theatrical elements and vibrant colors showcased her iconic style and larger-than-life personality, leaving her fans and critics alike raving about her appearance and the structural floral dress. Sorry, y'all. I have to go to the next page. Reminiscent of Rihanna's iconic style was praised for its bright colors and unique style, setting Nikki apart from the crowd with her stunning look, Nikki solidified her stash her oh my god, her status as a fashion icon and had the internet buzzing with excitement, proving once again that she's a force to be reckoned with in the world of fashion and entertainment. So I absolutely love that for the queen. And let's go on ahead and give the queen her mother effing flowers out. Just, just, just give a bitch her, her roses, though. I mean, you know I love just you, give man. a bitch her roses, you know what I'm saying? I did. Now, I could have swore someone said Botsy B was the best dressed. A lie. Like, look at how quick she lied. Okay, anyways, you guys, thank you for being messy with me. Thank you for getting lit. And thank you for enjoying Barb City mother effing blooper rolls. Because I know there was a lot of them, okay? But until next time, I love you guys so much. Thanks.